Uh, welcome to the International Disc Golf Center. This is the headquarters of the Professional Disc Golf Association. Uh, the building itself was, uh, the grand opening was on April 20th in 2007. It was uh, really built to uh, be the headquarters of the PJ and uh, to show off and to kind of give a home to um, the sport of disc golf and, and for the Professional Disc Golf Association. So it was very important to us that we uh, paid honor to you know those that came before us and of course Eddie Ed himself uh, was you know the godfather of disc golf and, and the inventor of the game so it was incredibly important for us to build the Hedrick Memorial Museum behind me. Uh, you can see all the plaques on the wall here. These are all the current and, and past plaques of our Disc Golf Hall of Fame members and the first member of that Disc Golf Hall of Fame was Steady Ed himself. So since it is Christmas time we'll go ahead and Say hello to Steady Ed with his Santa Claus <laughs> hat on here. And of course there is that first plaque that came into the building and it is Steady Ed's Hall of Fame plaque. Just underneath that we do have the very limited run of uh, discs that were printed or, or molded with Steady Ed's ashes uh, as part of the mold itself and a lovely picture of his dear, dear wife, uh, Farina Hedrick, down here below us. Farina was uh, so nice enough to grace us with the kind of christening of the International Disc Golf Center by throwing that disc right there onto the roof of the building, and that was the way that we opened it to the membership. Uh, and it is a building that's always open to PGA members anytime. A lot of the, the things that have happened over time that have been significant in our world of disc golf, specifically this is kind of like an international section right here, so a lot of cool stuff that has happened over time uh, overseas. Down there is our first few pictures of the grand opening with Barina and the uh, initial establishment of the Hedrick Memorial Museum. It's kind of ever evolving and uh, Disc Golf Hall of Fame former administrator, uh, Speedy Guerrero, Al Speedy Guerrero is also the curator of the museum here and so he's always done a great job of keeping it fresh, uh, keeping things coming in and out and making sure that we have, you know, a good representation of the sport of disc golf uh, from, you know, when it started until current times. So uh, a lot of really neat stuff and, and uh, it's really important again that we are always making sure that we recognize Steady Ed in every corner of the room here. This is the very first prototype pole hole that was built by Steady Ed in his garage molded or uh, welded by hand and it is the very first disc golf basket the Mach 0.5 um, of course Whammo ran the $50,000 tournament that was the biggest thing back in the day and, and my things have changed since then uh, now we have kids winning $20,000 at a time taking first place this year at the Disc Golf Pro Tour Championships at the end of the year. Uh, continuing through, keeping, keeping current with all these old pictures of all the old timers up top. I see Ron Russell, I see Alan Beaver, I see Tom Monroe, Elaine King of course, a lot of great names. And then moving through, we've got our awesome line of DGA Midnight Flyers right here. These are some of the original molded Midnight Flyers right here. So. Very, very cool. Uh, handwritten records of the PDGA members that started it all off. Please return to Susan Hedrick. And of course, number one, Mr. Steady Ed himself. You need to return this to Susan now. Yeah, we will. We will eventually. But she was so nice and, and uh, you know, the whole Hedrick family has been really, really gracious too you know, let us keep this on display here because of the significant importance of it all, but also I'm um, really just uh, really thankful for our partnership with EGA and with, and with the Hedrick family. Um, you know, really we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. So we're very, very thankful for that. Um, again, this is uh, Steady Ed's Rolodex and it does go through a lot of old members here. Um, you know, all the way back to number one himself. We can scroll all the way back through, but it's just, it's really, really neat to have this as well. Again, just the historic value of this is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, a lot of old time Frisbees going through, you know, obviously from the, uh, the Frisbee pie tin um, all the way up into, you know, kind of current times. And, and this 
this shelf itself is really just meant to be, again, uh, an homage to Steady himself. You can see one of his old shirts here um, and a lot of uh, great memorabilia. original frisbee pie tins up there and of course the whole story behind the frisbee pie company that's where we started why well, we've come a long way you saw a picture of like the initial um, Hedrick Museum sign over here to the side but now there are so many Hall of Fame members that we just had to make sure that we had enough room for all the plaques that the wall is going to keep growing over time uh, and for that we're very very thankful but yeah so now we have this beautiful new sign here overall impression of the size of the property here <clears throat> at the International Disc Golf Center. It's a, about 110 acres uh, as the entire property itself. <clears throat> and we're situated inside of Wildwood Park in Ackling, Georgia in Columbia County. Uh, Columbia County are great partners of ours as well. And um, this is one of the po most popular activities within Columbia County as far as recreation goes, and it's because of these three championship level courses right here. So you got the Jim Warner, and that is the red portion over here, the W.R. Jackson course, which is the yellow portion in here. And then of course the Steady Ed course, which runs down by the lake and is probably the most aesthetically pleasing, but is one of the more fun and, and it's the, the most admired course here on the property. Um, for many, many reasons, it's aesthetic value, but also because of its history as well. So. so at any point, obviously, if you want to learn more about Steady Ed and the history of the sport, uh, discgolf.com is your place to go. And you can learn all about the, the company as well, Disc Golf Association DGA. Again, great partners of ours. And the budding sport of disc golf, we're growing now. We actually just hit a 70,000 current member number uh, a few days ago, and we have well over 150,000 members uh, in the Professional Disc Golf Association, so you can always check us out there at pdga.com. Thanks for checking out the International Disc Golf Center and the home of the PDGA.